Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Welcome back Intuitive Minds. Today we'll be looking at how to find the HCF of a set of two or more numbers. So let's get to it. So sometimes you're asked to find the HCF of two or more numbers, for example, 36 and 54. But what does HCF actually mean? HCF means the highest common factor. So let's break this down, what this means. A factor is any number that you can use, any number that you can multiply by to give you the original number. So for example, the factors of 36, what numbers multiply to give you 36? So we can always start with one and 36 itself. 1 times 36 is 36. And then let's go up the scale. We started from 1, so let's look at 2. What do we multiply by 2 to give us 36? And we find that 2 times 18 is 36. So the partner for 2 is 18. Let's go up the scale again. Does 3 go into 36? Or can 36 be divided by 3? And it can in this case. So the partner for 3 is 12 because 12 times 3 is 36. Then we check, can 4 go into 36? So if we divide 36 by 4, we get 9. So 4 times 9 equals 36. So the partner for 4 is 9. Can 5 go into 36? No, it can't. That cannot be divided exactly into it. So we skip that one and we check with 6. Can 6 go into 36? Yes, 6 times 6 equals 36. Can 7 go into 36? No. And we start there because there are normal numbers that go into 36. So we found all the factors for 36. Similarly, we find all the factors for 54. So we do 1 and 54. Those are the first two factors. And then we go up the list. So 2 goes into 54 and we half the last number 54. So it's the half 54 is 27 because 2 times 27 equals 54. Does 3 go into 54? Yes, it does. So we find that out by dividing 54 by 3. 54 divided by 3 is 18. So 3 times 18 is 54. Does 4 go into 54? No, it doesn't because 54 cannot be divided exactly by 4. Similarly, 54 cannot be divided exactly by 5. Can 6 go into 54? Well, 54 divided by 6 is 9 because 6 times 9 equals 54. And that's the highest we can go up to. So these are all the factors of 36 and 54. Now we want to find the highest number or the biggest number that's common or the same in both of these lists. Now already we can see that there are quite a few numbers that are in common because we have 1, 2, 3, 6 and 9 all in common with each other. But these are not the highest. We want the highest number that's common or the biggest number that's common in both lists. They're not the biggest. The biggest number that's common to both lists is 18. That appears in both lists and it's the biggest one that appears in both of the lists. So the HCF for the highest common factor of 36 and 54 is 18. Let's take a look at another example. Say we wanted to find the highest common factor of the numbers 42 and 63. So what we do first is we list all the factors of 42 and I use what I call the rainbow method. So I start with 1 and 42 itself. So 1 and its partner 42. Then I check with 2. Can 2 go into 42? Yes it can. It can go into 42 21 times because 2 times 21 equals 42. Can 3 go into 42? Yes it can. What you can also do is you can divide 42 by 3 to give you 14 because 3 times 14 equals 42. So 14 becomes a partner for 3. Then you check with 4. Can 4 go into 42? Not exactly because 42 divided by 4 gives you a decimal answer and you don't want that. So you ignore that. The same applies to 5. Then you check with 6. Can 6 go into 42? Yes it can because 6 times 7 equals 42. And that's where the list ends. You cannot find any more factors. Then you do the same for 63. So you have 1 and its partner 63. And then you check can 2 go into 63? Not exactly because 63 divided by 2 gives us the decimal answer. So we ignore 2. Then we check with 3. Can 3 go into 63? Yes it can because 63 divided by 3 equals 21. So the partner for 3 is 21. Can 4 go into 63? Not exactly. Same with 5 and the same with 6. Can 7 go into 63? Yes, it can. 63 divided by 7 equals 9. So the partner for 7 is 9. And that's all the factor list for 63. Now we check to see which number is common in both of these lists, which is the biggest number that's common. Because we can see that 1, 3 and 7 appear in both lists. Those are all common, but they're not the biggest. The biggest number that's common that appear in both of these lists is 21. So therefore, the HCF or the highest common factor of 42 and 63 is 21. Let's take a look at one more example. What is the highest common factor of 36 and 84? 
So what you do first is you list all the factors of 36. So you have one and 36 itself. Then you go up the number line. So can two go into 36? Yes, it can. 36 divided by two is 18. And then you go further up the number line. Can three go into 36? Yes, it can. 36 divided by three is 12. Can four go into 36? Yes, it can. 36 divided by four is nine. Can five go into 36? Not exactly, so ignore that. Can six go into 36? Yes, it can. Six times six is 36. Well, 36 divided by six gives us six. So these are all the parts or this is the factor list for 36. Similarly, we do the same for 84. So we have one and 84, and we have two and 42. So remember to get the partners, I'm dividing 84 by each number that I'm writing down. So can three go into 84? Yes, it can, because 84 divided by three is 28. Can four go into 84? Yes, it can, because 84 divided by four is 21. Can five go into 84? Not exactly. Can six go into 84? Yes, it can, because 84 divided by six is 14. Can seven go into 84? Yes, it can, because 84 divided by seven is 12. And that's the end of the fact list for 84, because no other numbers can go into 84 now. Eight doesn't go into 84 exactly, and neither does nine, so we ignore those. Finally, we just look at both our lists and find the biggest number that's common. So we ignore the smaller numbers that we know that are common anyway, and we look for the biggest number that appears in both lists. We can see that 12 is the biggest number that appears in both lists, and therefore the highest common factor of 36 and 84 is 12. And that's all there is to it. Have a go yourself and see if you can find the HCF of any numbers that you can choose. Let me know how well you did in the comments below. I hope you found this helpful. Smash the like button. Share with anyone who you think this might benefit. Do subscribe and click the notification bell for more tips like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.